It's Thursday, campers. Moving along. Chrysler wants to eliminate roughly 789 of its 3,200 U.S. dealerships by June 9th, saying in bankruptcy court today that the network is antiquated and has too many stores competing with each other. The company said just over 50% of the dealers account for about 90% of the company's sales. Fresh reminders that the recession hasn't ended emerged today in reports that first-time claims for jobless aid and wholesale prices rose more than expected. The Labor Department said that the number of new jobless claims rose to a seasonally adjusted 637,000, which was way above analysts' expectations. Wall Street Reaction, here are the numbers. Walmart stores reported a flat quarterly profit today as its low prices attracted shoppers amid the global economic slowdown, but the retailer's results suffer from the stronger U.S. dollar. Still, reps said it would continue to gain market share as customers change shopping patterns and focus on value. Lehman Brothers Holding, which sent global markets into a tailspin after filing for bankruptcy in September 2008, is looking at spinning off its remaining assets, which include real estate and private equity holdings. The company is looking at investors who are willing to bet the assets will rise in value as the U.S. economy recovers. And locally, San Bernardino headquartered Stater Brothers saw sales continue to rise while earnings fell during its second fiscal quarter. Stater's added new customers with continued competitive price discounting while it avoided passing rising food costs onto its consumers. For the Business Press, I'm Dave Kaufman. Join us again tomorrow for another Biz Minute.